So it's been about 20 days since the birth of our beautiful daughter, Logan. And so far, overall, things have gone great. Probably the only issue that we've noticed is that she's had some tummy trouble. You know, some gas yeah. issues. And when she is gassy, she is not a happy baby. <coughs> to tell you the truth, she never really had much of a chance. She actually comes from a pretty long family history of gassiness. As a matter of fact, from what I recall, I believe that flatulence is actually inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. And for any of you that have children, you know how difficult it is staring at your baby, having them stare back at you, knowing how much discomfort they are in, and just not being able to do anything about it. So I was trying everything as far as the feeding to make her feel better. Not feeding her too much, not feeding her too little, making sure that the nipple wasn't in too far, making sure that the nipple wasn't out too far, burping her every ounce, burping her every half ounce. I even tried some specialized burping techniques, including the drum roll, The we will rock you technique. I even try to get in a little conga action. Now sometimes when I did this, it actually worked. Unfortunately, most of the time she still was very uncomfortable and still very irritable and fussy. Occasionally, the gas had already traveled down into the lower intestines, so I had tried to give a little few downward strokes to see if that helped, and that also worked a few times. <coughs> Unfortunately, boy, it still didn't help overall. One night I remember after about three hours of nonstop crying and fussiness, I got almost so insane that I started to visualize myself as a gas bubble in her tummy, trying to figure out if I was a gas bubble, what would I try to do to get out? But after realizing I was on the verge of becoming delusional, I snapped out of it. And I remembered that I heard that analyzing the actual color of the poop may tell a story and may be helpful. So I did what any normal, reasonable, concerned father would do in a situation like this, and I analyzed the poop to the best of my ability. After I found the exact color match, I gave a call to her pediatrician to discuss what I found. Yeah, it's um, somewhere between edgy gold and eminent bronze. What? I don't know, like those are the Sherwin-Williams colors, you know, like SW6408. After referring me for some counseling for my OCD, he assured me that everything with the color of the poop was quite okay. He did, however, offer a recommendation to try to maybe change the baby's formula. So, we tried about everything. Lipple powder. <coughs> Lipple pre-made. <coughs> Restful, <laughs> gentle ease, <laughs> but still nothing was working. So I called the pediatrician back to tell him that nothing had been working so far, and then I heard those four syllables that any financially conscious father never wants to hear. New Tramagen. That's right. It looks the same, it feels the same, it's the same powder, it's the same color. However, it is about two times as much as normal formula. As a matter of fact, the last time I believe I saw a white powdery substance that was that expensive, I think it was in lines at a fraternity party back in college. But I will tell you, it worked. And she finally, finally, finally fell asleep. And that made her happy, and that made us happy. So I guess what I've learned is this. When it comes to your children, spare no expense. It'll make them happy, it'll make you happy. And you know what? They're totally worth it.